Good morning mga kapipip. Welcome to the grind and welcome to the vlog. And this is mga kapipip by the way. The KTM SX85 Big Wheels or the KTM 85 SX 1916. When you're saying 1916, naka 19-inch wheels siya sa harapan and naka 16-inch wheels siya sa likuran. And this is why they're calling it the Big Wheels kasi nga ito yung malaking version na na wheels and there's another one. I think it's 1740. This motorcycle is to be released today actually mga kabibi. Hindi pa natin na-research yung motorcycle na to. But I've researched enough uh, to discuss why this motorcycle is expensive. Ito ang hinahanap talaga ng yung tipong hindi lang talaga mga mayayaman. But at least amateur to pro racers na motorcycle. Now mga kabibi, if you are going to check the motorcycle, the motorcycle has the good looks. Pero there's more to it mga kapipi. Um, we're going to discuss it later. And big shout out nga pala sa Norman Dwayne Kitapawan for allowing me to vlog about this motorcycle. And if you're going to check mga kapipi, it's a very beautiful motorcycle. And it's only considered to be used on sports or on trail, not on highway mga kapipi. Hindi siya street legal. And ang price nito is 500,180 pesos. And yun na, yun yung pinakauna. Let's discuss the not obvious about this motorcycle. Bakit mahal to? Um, if you are going to come here, uh, masasabi mo talaga ang ayan o. Oh, sabi niya na, made in Austria and naka VPK siya. So kapag naka VPK kasi usually it's on Austria. It's not assembled by Ayala. It's coming from Austria itself and it's delivered here in the Philippines. Kaya mahal tong motorcycle na to. And ito nga yung kinoconsider na yung tipong training bike at least ng mga teenagers. Yung tipong second generation racer. Ito yung sinasuggest nila. Or at least ito yung hinahanap nila na motorcycle kasi napaka high spec ng tong motorcycle na to. I've seen a free ride. 450 before it's one of the lightest motorcycle i could find also as a dual sport but this motorcycle right here hindi to nalalayo when it comes to the specification and kung titignan mo yung grips niya at saka yung handlebar niya sa harapan kalidad it's having a, a hydraulic formula clutch by the way mga kapibig the brand is formula same thing sa master cylinder niya sa disc brake sa harapan and same thing then sa disc brake sa literal not that much decals on this motorcycle but the bodywork ang ganda ng bodywork niya white and orange looks fine on me para sa akin maganda siya and pati yung frame niya na orange painted din maganda din i'm loving the sharp looks of this motorcycle if you're going to check it's really really sharp the seat the seat definitely not for me and i think this is definitely for racers actually mga kapibib kasi yung seat niya kung titignan mo uh, manipis talaga siya but it's really a primo looking or kahit na i-feel mo lang eh primo feels talaga siya mga kapibib eh. ang ganda ng pagkakagawa and this is what I saw as well on the free ride but I think this is much more better when it comes to the premiumness <laughs> kung may ganun bang word and kahit yung gulong niya mga kapibib primo looking for me the swing arm primo looking and yung gulong sa harapan, primo looking din. We're going to talk about that exhaust later on mga kapibib. Now even the engine is looking good. I think it's made one of the fastest and at least the finest um, engine I could find right now or I could see in person right now. Kasi meron siyang 84.9 cc na liquid engine. If you're going to check, there's a radiator on the front side. Ayan. And ito talaga. Ang respect ng motosiklo kasi nga kahit na naka 85cc siya, meron siyang 20 horsepower and meron siyang 16 Nm of torque. If you're going to compare it with some other 155 na motosiklo, usually nasa 7 din lang sila but this one's on the 20 already. Another thing na uh, mapag-uusapan natin is yung bigat niya. Ang wet weight nito mga kapibib is around 65 kilograms. It's having a 5 liter gas tank capacity. This is two stroke by the way so expect nothing more on the fuel consumption definitely la la yun eh. Let's talk about the radiator. Ito kasi mga nagugustuhan ko sa mga dirt bikes usually. May radiator sila and I like it. 
the front ito kung pag-usapan natin yung front header um, respect talaga siya masasabi mo talagang respect kasi nakaspring na yung attachment sa kanya so parang diretso palit kasi yan eh. dapat detachable almost everything when you are about to race so ang ganda lang talaga ng concept na ganito uh, first time ko actually makakita ng ganito in person may nakikita na akong ginagawa nilang ganito um, sa mga racers pero not in person so it's good to see something like this na yung tipong madali lang matanggal yung kanyang header o yung kanyang um, ceiling ko kung maga and this one by the way mga kapitip it's built beautifully and sinasabi daw nila it's the one that makes this motorcycle having a beautiful sound pero sa tingin ko lahat ng KTM maganda yung distinct sound nila if you're going to ask me and I'm not that much on the exhaust tip or the muffler pero para sa akin okay na rin uh, pwede mo watang palitan on this side na hindi na kailangan weld this is spring by the way again mga kapipi ba ang ganda lang talaga ng pagkakadesign nyo niya para sa akin and masyadong malinis yung kanyang tail mga kapipi race ready talaga kung baga seat height input tayo mga kapipi if you're going to check uh, mamra is 5 foot 5 and almost flat foot if it all but this is 64 kilograms so definitely yes it's magaan alrighty big shout out kay sir jason Ayan. this wing arm by the way is die cast aluminum kaya magaan siya and yet matibay yun nga yung sinasabi nila when it comes to a die cast aluminum um, product and the design it looks beautiful it needs some cleaning kasi kakadeliver lang nito dito to Norman rin kitapawan big shout out rin to Norman kitapawan and alam mo yung tipo ngayon ngayon ko lang talaga makakakita ng ganitong um, side stand or paddock stand pa rin ba ang tawag ito I'm not quite sure pero tignan mo naman mga kapibig ang ganda ng pagkakagawa when it comes to the branding ayan o oh, naka branding din ang kanyang um, wheels naka black coated siya mga kapibig ayan pati yung rims niya ano din, uh, black coated din ang kanyang size ng gulong sa harapan 70, 119 is XL and yan nga, Maxxis still and ang kanyang likuran naman mga kapibib is 90, 116 siya the front suspension it's not actually going by the looks only it's aesthetically good it's aesthetically beautiful if you're going to check and ang ganda talaga ng itsura niya but this is branded by the way mga kapibib this is WP exact and yan nga minimension niya ng mga kapiti and naka compression and rebound adjustability siya I think it will be on this side ayun ang sinasabi niya na this is for the rebound and same thing sa likuran WP exact din siya and it's a ayun maganda nga dinidikit na talaga nila kung ano yung magagawa mo dito and it says progressive damping system so it's still adjustable mga kapiti and I think the preload is adjustable as well and it's having a 305 travel suspension on the rear sa front side naman 278 travel suspension for me that's really high enough mga kapitid it's having a carburetor which is Mikuni TMX 38mm flat slide yun yung sinasabi kasi na if not the best one of the best yung wheelbase niya mga kapitid check it out it's looking white but it's not that actually white it's 1290mm wheelbase but it's white enough for a small packed rocket and if you're going to check it's having a high seat height 865 mm po siya mga kapipip but if you sit on it um, you'll be looking comfortable as a ground clearance meron siyang 336 mm ground clearance it's really really high and i think this is really a good sporty trail bike if you're going to ask me and if you're going to check it oh, ito yung kamay ko it runs about 5 inch at least um, I think lagpas pa siya ng 10 inch kahit na ganito talaga kamahal kung madidiscover mo talaga siya actually most of the people who are considering this motorcycle yun talaga yung tipong may alam talaga sa racing talaga usually but if you're planning racing and you're new to the game um, I think this is one of the top when, it, when you are comparing it um, with some other competitions and yun nga imported tong motorcycle na to pwede pa tong manahin ng kapu-apuhan mo kung tutuusin and KTM pag sinabi mo kasing KTM dito sa Pilipinas sasabihin nila hindi matibay but kay KTM so far on my experience as a motorcycle salesman 
may one month experience kumbaga wala pang um, reklamo kay KTM except lang talaga yung tipong sinasabi nila may notion sila usually mahal daw ang pa PMS ni KTM pero um, pick another pick another brand of big bike they're almost the same mga ka para, para sa akin lang talaga kasi kaya siya mahal dahil din siguro sa knowledge at saka sa labor kaya makita ng mekaniko and of course brands of the oils they're using mga ka -bibib. pero yun nga para sa akin itong motosiklo na to it's price it's justifiable should I buy it? nope it's not for me pero if you're planning trailing if you are planning on doing off-road stuff racing Definitely go with this one. This is a very competitive motorcycle right here. And kung ito check mo talaga siya, it means business mga kapipip. And lalo lalo na ngayon na research ko na marami pala siyang branding. Kung sasabi mo talaga, maganda itong motorcycle na ito.